everybody come on praise the name of the lord jesus hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of jesus we take this opportunity to welcome everyone into the house of the lord praise the name of the lord jesus amen to all our viewers on the facebook and youtube and the zoom network we welcome you all those that are in house we welcome you the lord we should bless you Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in to the chapel of the Apostolic Ministries in the community of BC, Canada. Praise the Lord. We're going to be praying. Amen. We're going to invite you to stand right now. Amen. Just lift all your hands unto the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you're in the gym with me, you can just pray with us. Amen. As we commence the service in the name of the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We can be bring that simply to the whole world of peace we pray. We endeavor to praise you, to worship you, to bow down. Uh, we thank you for your righteousness towards us because you are righteous God and holy God. All of our righteousness are like filthy rags before you this morning. And there's no good thing can be found within us. We ask you, Lord, to wash us thoroughly, to cleanse us from our unrighteousness, to purge us with hyssop, to make us clean before thy presence as we enter into your throne room. As we enter, Lord God, I pray you grant us divine access. <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. Divine access to the things of God, to the holy presence of God. As we bow down before you. As we bow down before you, great God. And we make our petitions known. Hear her from the cry. When it come from the deep recesses of our hearts, our heart felt gratitude unto thy holy name. We hang our heads like bulrushes this morning. Ah, we bend our knees before you. We bow down before you and we honor that great God. The God who brought us here this morning. The God who guarded 
our lives and guided our steps that we are in the house today. The one who give us life this morning, the breath that we are breathing right now does not belong to us. It was loaned to us. But we are thankful we are still breathing the breath of life. And we are standing upon this holy ground right now to declare the righteousness of God. You didn't have to make us live. But you did. And so we are thankful to you. And today we will offer our reasonable service unto you. We may offer our sacrifice of praise. We will not hold back. We will give freely and liberally as you have given to us. You have given to us, Lord, this life. And this life must praise you. Ah, because deep down within us, there is a, a praise to offer unto God. There's something deep within us that is bubbling. Ah, we want to say it, we want to tell it unto the God of our salvation who has been gracious and good and kind and true unto us as recipient of the power of God. God, we express it through the anointing that you have placed upon our lives, whereby we cry, Abba, Father, oh glory to God, the burning in our souls, and one writer say, it's like fire, shut up in our bones, I want the fire of God to move in this house, I want the power of Pentecost to liberate somebody in this place today. I don't want God an ordinary service, but I want something extraordinary moved by the power of Jesus' name and with the in power of the Holy Ghost in this place. I pray that someone will cry out unto the living God. Somebody will say, my heart has been invited to a good matter. And so I feel Jesus in this place. Hallelujah. Because, oh God, we two are three are gathered together. Touching anything concerning him. We are in the midst to bless and to do good. Do good in this house today. Hallelujah. Do good in this house today. Set captives free. We come against the plan of the enemy. Everything that exalted themselves against the knowledge of God. I condemn by the power of the living word. And by the authority of the Holy Ghost. I pray self will be slain. And God will have the preeminence. In this house, everything will be put under subjection to the power of the Most High God. Let God be glorified. Let God be exalted. Hallelujah. He alone must receive the glory. And he alone must receive the praise. Oh, glory, we give you honor and we invite you to tabernacle with us in this place, this day, for your name's sake. And somebody declare, in the name of Jesus, come on, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Praise God. Come on, somebody shout a praise unto the Lord. Come on, shout a praise unto the Lord. Shout a praise unto the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. But hey, Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah.
Thank you, mighty Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord one more time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And everybody just stand up and lift up your hands. Just do thanks and praise. We worship you in spirit and in truth. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We honor your praise. 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 We honor the only wise God, we worship you for who you are, Jesus, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, Lord, blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody everywhere, let us pray. Stand to your feet right now. Stand to your feet right now. Everybody everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Lord, we want to come. We bow before your day. We dedicate this service before the Lord. Every aspect of the service we're going to put before the Lord. We want the Lord to have his way in this place today. We want self to be slain. We want flesh to be under subjection. We want the Holy Ghost to move in this place today. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered together, touching anything concerning him. God is in the midst of us and to do this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. We have to get them down in this place. We have to get them down and move by your spirit. We pray, God, that you will send your anointing, you will send your triumph, you send your glory in this place. We thank you for what you're about to do. Lord, we need the anointing of God to flow in this place. So that the Spirit of God will move mightily. So we will look to you.
Lord God, let the spirit of the Lord rise up in this place today. Lord God, let the flesh be subjected to the spirit, God Almighty. Have your own way in this place today, Almighty God Almighty. Lord God, we put the enemy under subjection right now. And we pray in the name of Jesus that your will be done. Let there be no hindrance, God, to the move of God in this service today. Lord God, move by your spirit, God Almighty. Move by your spirit, God Hallelujah. Almighty. Have your way in this service today. Have your way in this service today. Rest your hand upon each and every one of us in the house, Lord God, today. Let no one leave, Lord God, the same way they came. Lord God, have your own way in this place, God Almighty. Have your own way, God Almighty. Move by your spirit. Let your way be done, God Almighty. Let your way be done, Jesus. Lead us to the Lord and service today. We worship you and we give you thanks. In the mighty name of God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue to worship the Lord. Let's continue to worship the Lord. We give you glory, Jesus. There is nothing come to you. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. 
worship you, Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Lift up his voice and said unto them, 
Oh 
thank you, Jesus. To worship you, I live. To worship you. Worship God, everybody. Amen. We are going to be praying. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to be praying for the upcoming convention. Praise the name of the Lord and for Sunday and picnic. Amen. The unity among the brethren. It is the spirit of jealousy. Amen. The among the brethren, the, the commitment of the sons to the work of the Lord. Amen. So, so we're going to be praying for the things right now. We're going to be able to get a prayer position. Amen. As we pray and seek the Lord. Amen. So, 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 Amen. Praise, praise Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We need prayer positions. Get into your prayer positions. We are going to Jesus, we give you all our thanks. Everybody, everywhere. We are praying. We are standing in the name of God. Yeah. Teaching Jesus about the truth of the right now. I do not know what I do. I will not be shaken. I will not praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we praise you, mighty God. Shabbat, the Lord, 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 Holy place of worship. As we come, hallelujah, into your throne room, as we approach thee with a simple heart of thanksgiving, we humble ourselves before you, knowing that you are a sovereign God who reign in the kingdom of men. We pray, Lord God, for upcoming convention, Lord God, and we are speaking a word of success in the atmosphere. We are praying, God, for souls to be born into the kingdom for such a time as this. 
We pray, great God, that you will speak to our hearts through the man's servant. We will minister the words of the living God. We pray for the authority and the power of God to move mightily. Pray for miraculous work in the spirit of God. We pray for the anointing to break yokes and set captives free. We pray that men will receive the authority the filling of the Holy Ghost and fire. We believe you, Lord, to speak, God, in the name of a fresh word, a fresh word, a fresh word, a word from the throne room of God, a word to deliver, a word to set free, a word to break the bonds of wickedness, a word to transform the lives of men, a word to bring us into a new dimension, a word to know that God is with us, a word that will bring us a revelation, a word of prophecy in this place in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We stand upon the authority and we believe you to speak to your servant. We will come, Lord God, from far to declare the wondrous works of the living God in this place. And so we believe, God, that you will do our work. We have great expectations of you to do something extraordinary. We have a great expectation for you to move mountains. We have great expectation of you, God, to lift a standard. We have great expectation of you to heal and deliver. We have the great expectation to break every change, change of weak, chains of wickedness. Chains of bondage, chains that bind the hearts of men, chains that will be broken to loose and to set captivity captive. Hallelujah. Praise God. We want to thank you for that in the name of the Lord. We pray for our fun day next Saturday, Lord God, and we pray, great God, as we journey into Vernon, we ask you, Lord, to go with us and to guide us and to guard us, to protect us. We pray for everyone that will be in attendance. We pray, great God, that you will cover us on the playing field, whatever activity that we do. God, you will cover, you will protect, you will guard and you will guide. You will bring back every man safely to their, their different homes of abroad. No harm will come nigh anyone in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for the unity among the brethren right now. God. Hallelujah. We smite the shepherd. Hallelujah. The sheep be scattered. Hallelujah. But we are praying for a unity among the church. A unity among the people of God that are called, sanctified by the Spirit. The people of God we have chosen to worship on this part of ground. We're praying, great God, that He will bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us in the oneness of the Spirit of God. Let the Holy Ghost hold us. And let the Holy Ghost take control of us. We don't just want to have the Holy Ghost. But we want the Holy Ghost to have us. And to hold us. And to lead us. And to guide us. And to hold our steps. That whatsoever we do or say will be done according to the will of the Lord. Lord God we stand to declare. That you are God and God alone. And there is no other Savior beside you. Above you. Beneath you. You alone is God. And Lord God we are thankful that there is no other God. We praise the name of the Lord. We rebuke the spirit of jealousy. That wicked spirit. That Jezebel spirit. That spirit of wardom. We bind it and we send it back to the pit of hell from whence it came. That spirit of animosity and destruction among the people of God. I rebuke it. I bind it. I send it back right now by the power of Jesus' name and by the authority of the Holy Ghost. Lord, take control over this land. Take control over these people. Hold them. Lead them. Guide them. Let their hearts be pure before you. Let their spirit, God, worship you. Let the anointing fall afresh on them. Lead them lest they fail. 
Hold them in the hours of your hands, O great God. We are thankful for you to be the shepherd and the leader of this flock. We thank you, great God, that you are large and in charge over the people who are called by your name. We thank you for them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray for commitment. Commitment. Commitment among the people of God. Hallelujah. To be committed to a cause. To be committed to a cause. The cause of this great gospel. Jesus came and he shed his blood on Calvary that you and I might have life and have it more abundantly. He didn't have to do it, but he did. You should have died. I should have died. But he died in our stead. And so we are in, indebted to him. Hallelujah. We have to be committed to him for what the price that he has paid for our salvation and Calvary. But we are praying God you will infuse in the hearts of these your people a commitment to the work, a commitment to the kingdom, a commitment and a loyalty to the house of God. I pray great God I will speak directly, expressly, hallelujah, in the lives of the people and the lives of the children of men that they will know and understand that you have done it all for them. You gave it all for them. You lay and you stretched out yourself on Calvary. You bled and died and you were buried in a borrowed grave for them. Hallelujah. The crown of thorns was placed upon your head because of us. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are placed in his in your side because of us. Hallelujah. Ah, you drank vinegar and water because of us. And so we have to be committed to this work. Because you have got, given us the Holy Ghost. You have empowered us. You have given us an impetus of power infused in us through the Spirit of God. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father, unto you. I pray to you, God, that we will show the commitment, hallelujah, unto God. If we are committed to God, we will be committed to the work. If you are committed to God, you will be committed to the kingdom. If you are committed to the kingdom, you will be committed to God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, bless your people. Touch your people. Oh, heal them, deliver them, and set them free. Hallelujah. From all the bondage that come across them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we stand upon your word. We declare it to be so. We call it done in no other name than the name of the Lord Jesus. And somebody declare in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We well, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Praise his name. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, mighty Jesus. Oh, we bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We invite the moderator to come right now. I think there will be a... Praise God. Let the moderator come. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory and praise. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise, his enemies be scattered. Let God arise, 
just bless the offering quickly. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your anointing. Lord Jesus, I pray that we may bless those that have to give today and bless those that have not. Bless that their store basket may never be empty right now. In the name of Jesus. Let us greet somebody. No, give. Give it with love, story to bow. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love, story to bow. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love, story to bow. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love, story to bow. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love. Pour it above. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love. Pour it above. Give it with a willing heart. And if you have it, just give it with love. Pour it above. Give it with a willing. against us. So I just want to do a bit of announcement here. It's Picnic 2022. Can I hear you? Yay! I'm sure you're going to say yeah louder than that when you hear what we have planned for you. So <laughs> the picnic date will be next Saturday. Yeah, Saturday coming. <laughs> Yes, Saturday, July 9th, 2022. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So it will be at Paulson? Paulson? Paulson Park in Vernon. You want to be there. You don't want to miss this. So the activities for the day, let's be there um, by 9. 9 would be great. Because we're going to have prayer, and then we're going to select teams for the day. We're going to have a sign-up booth that you sign up um, to take part in the different activities, like soccer. We Jamaican call it football. We have track and field. We have, Somebody just, yeah. yeah. All right. Yes, we have track and field, yeah. jump rope. Bun eating contest, yeah. potato bag race, egg and spoon. We have scavenger hunt because we have a lot of age group. Even for the smaller one, we have scavenger hunt. We have three leg race. We have wheelbarrow race. We have hide and seek. We have tag. Whoa! And just for fun, we're going to have Ludi. Oh no. And dummy, no, somebody said, yay! yay! One last thing that I forget to mention. Test your memory. Hold on, man, the food. I hear that. Well, hold on. Test your memory. So it's going to be some Bible trivia just to test your memory. So, know your Bible. And don't forget. Oh! Food. Food. Yes, food, man, food. We can't, we can't play an hungry belly. And please, I'm asking you if you all could um, bring food, bring enough food to share. If you're going to be there, let me hear you say yay. Yeah. If you're going to be at Picnic 2022, let me hear you say yay. Yeah. Woo! All right, all right. Yes, Brother Kevin, come here. You have something to say. Let me hear it. Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Cody got, I got brother, brother, explain to me now. <laughs> that sounds like it. Yeah, but I was thinking more like, come here, brother Kevin, come here. Come here quick. So I was thinking that this is four. One, two, three, four. And then this and this come together. Take one. one two, three. So we're going to tie this together and then we're going to read. Okay. Yeah, All right. That's yeah. how it works, brother. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you know about it, the wheelbarrow race, right? Everybody know that. Yeah. Let me get the wheelbarrow. All right, that's it. That's it. And it's fun day. It's fun day 2022. Don't forget the date. It's Saturday at 9. Be early. You don't want to miss anything. For you. Oh, you know, Oh, you're talking about egg and spoon? It's called egg and spoon. So yes, that's how it works. No, no glue or anything. We have to manipulate that. Hallelujah. We feel alone is worthy to worship.
excited and happy to be here. Just jump and shout a hallelujah. Just, yes! All right, can I get another? Yay! Can I get another hallelujah? Amen, hallelujah. Can I get another burning hallelujah? Woo! All right, all right, on this side. That's it. Do, did you know that when you shout a hallelujah, you know, if you knew what hallelujah could do, everybody would just be screaming hallelujah right now. One devil drop dead when you shout hallelujah. When you shout hallelujah, praise God, demons tremble. Oh. You understand me, man. I said when you shout hallelujah, praise God, your enemy become your footstool. All right, can I get another shout right now? All right. Yes, come on, stand to your feet and say hallelujah from the bottom of your heart and stretch it out. Hallelujah. One more time. Somebody might be looking for promotion for a long time, but I have news for you today. If you need a promotion, it's in your praise. Hallelujah. It's in your praise. It's in your praise. God bless you. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. We worship you, mighty God. Amen. We're going to be praying again before the preacher comes. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. We're just going to do stand before the God one more time. We are here to pray. Praise God. And we just, you know, we're going to ask some people to pray. Pray at the mic. The people who have the mic are not praying. Can you hear your mic? Is your mic? Amen. Your music. You better do your dad that night. Yeah, raise your hand. Praise God. Hallelujah. As we say, all is not. Praise God. Yes, man. You hear this man. You have another one? You have any more? Praise God. Hallelujah. What am I doing here? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So we're going to be praying again. Hallelujah. We're going to pray again. I hope you're not tired of praying. We're going to pray again. To sit on you and not touch God with your prayers. Amen. And it goes up to him as a sweet smelling savior in the mysteries of the living God. And somebody is here to praise unto his name. Amen. Oh, goodness, Amen. So we're going to pray again for this. Um, topics going for the upcoming convention, the Sunday picnic, the unity among the brethren, the spirit of commitment among the people of God, also uh, the spirit of jealousy among the brethren. Yeah. I want everyone to participate and to pray, to exercise your faith. Hallelujah. Come on today. Amen. Amen. If you have a mic, you can, if you have a mic, stand. 
Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus, everybody. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We are going to be praying. Maybe it's for the coming from Bunchy, the Cumberland Picnic, the unity among the brethren, the coming in the spirit of jealousy, the return to the commitment, the return to the people of God. Commitment, 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 commitment. Amen. Praise God. We're going to be praying for those. Everybody else, we're going to be praying also. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Come on. Get your prayer position. And let us pray. Let us touch Jesus. Let us, let us express our gratitude. Believe your prayers that they are answered by God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We cry out to Him right now, everybody, everywhere. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. We trust you. We trust in your name. We bless your name. We are high. Exalt the most holy name. We worship your holy name. We bow down before you. We adore you. We express your gratitude to you. We thank you for your love towards us. While we were yet sinners, you died for us. While we were found in the commonwealth of his will. You pray to make us. So we come before you, my Lord, making these petitions known. Thank you for what you are going to do. Thank you for what you have already done. Thank you for the people of God. Thank you for the prayers that has been sent up to you right now. In the name of Jesus, the place of convention before you. Your upcoming convention, we pray, great God, that you will step in. You will give journey mercies to the preacher that will be traveling from Jamaica. We pray, great God, that you will put him here safely. You will put him with a word, a rhema word, a word of power, a delivering word. A word that will set somebody so free. A word of power. A word of life. And a word of truth. A word that will bring about a transformation. A word that will bring about a commitment to the body of Christ. Lord, hear her hand of God. Why am I just the one calling us? Do not cast us by
when the dawn when the dawn and everyone is causing animosity put the dawn and everyone is causing disturbances put the dawn in the name of Jesus let the church be the church let the people rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth when the righteous rule it the people rejoice when the wicked reign hallelujah the people mourn so we thank you that Lord you are a righteous God and you are in charge of everything that is happening here hallelujah we come against the spirit of jealousy the wicked spirit the spirit of the body of Jezebel the spirit that has disturbance among the people and the Lord will that spirit and set it back to the feet of him we have spoke God that you will work a work of faith and lift a standard a holy ghost standard against the demonic um, spirit these demonic actions in the house of God we bind it we rebuke it in the name of Jesus it has no place in the church of the living God we cast it home now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Take authority in the name of the living God. Jesus, send help from your sanctuary above to subdue the spirit and go shall die. In the name of Jesus, to put it under subjection. In the name of Jesus, we believe God. The people will not just form ideas in their minds, but they will have two or three witnesses. Hallelujah. Let every man have two or three witnesses to every conversation. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let God arise. In this house, when the enemies of our souls be scattered, we thank you, we praise you, we magnify your name, we pray for the commitment. Hallelujah! Commitment, the commitment of the people to the work of the Lord, the commitment of the people to the things of God. They must love the Lord their God with all their hearts, with all their souls, with all that is within them. They love the word of God, love the house of God, love the things of God, love everything to the kingdom of God. In come again the spirit of water. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of manipulation. In the name of Jesus. We bind it right now by the blood. By the power of Jesus' name, can we take authority over him? In the name of the living God, we ask you to step in because you're an unkind God. You may not come when we want you, but you'll be there right on time. So have thy own way in this sanctuary and hold your people in the hollows of your hands. Hold them, Jesus. Hold them. Hallelujah. Lest they fail. Keep them steadfast. And move them in. Always as bounding in the faith. Hallelujah. And bounding in the grace, in the power and authority of the living God. Hear from heaven, O Jesus, the holy place of abode. Hear from heaven, which is your place where you dwell between the cherubim. Hallelujah. Your throne 
Hallelujah. Let these prayers come up to you a sweet smelling savor into the nostrils of the living God. I pray it will not be ended. I pray, great God, that our prayers this day will not be ended. We break every hindering spirit. I say, I break every hindering spirit. We come against the Prince of Persia in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Prince of Persia, release the in the name of Jesus. Release the prayer of the saints. And you will go up. Hallelujah. As a sweet smelling savor. And that the answer will come speedily. We are preparing to receive every answer right now. In the name of Jesus. And somebody declare. In the name of Jesus. Somebody declare. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. No glory. Hallelujah. Thank you mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ladies. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's stand everybody everywhere right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have the victory. Come on, somebody. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Devils will have to flee.
we have the victory. We are victors in Christ Jesus our Lord. Oh, somebody praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you glory and praise and honor for your love towards us. Amen. Praise God. Without any further ado, I take this opportunity to welcome to minister the word of the Lord to us today. Brother Mike Williams and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, and have a good Good to be in the house of the Lord today. Now the day that we can, that we live to worship, that we live to give him praise and honor. Because he deserves every bit of our worship. He deserves all our praise. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, as I minister the word, I pray that you will minister with me. It's never an easy thing to go out here to minister the word of the Lord. <laughs> but I know that with God, all, all things are possible. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to greet you all today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. With our this pastor, Pastor Baptiste, and the saints of God alike. Those who are on our social media, I want to greet you in, in Jesus' name. And I pray that, just pray that the little that I have here to, to, to present to you today, that at least you will find something out of it, out of it, even one line of it, Amen. that will minister to your heart. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a good God. He's worthy to be praised. Let's just worship Him alone before we start it. Jesus, Jesus, there is no need for you. Lord, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. We worship you. We were created for that purpose to worship you. To worship you alone. Lord Jesus, oh God, we worship you. We give you all the glory and all the praise because you deserve everything. Amen. All our worship, all our things. This is the name of Jesus. Let's be your name, Jesus. Here's a little thought that is uh, rests on my mind, and I just want to share it with you all today. As I said before, I pray that something will be very important to you, something that you can grab on. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to turn your, your Bibles to the book of St. Matthew, chapter 21. In Matthew 21. And I'll be reading from verse 1, verse 11. This be an image. It reads us. And when, they, and when they drew nigh unto, G, unto Jerusalem, 
and we're coming to death to death village in Asia unto the mount of olives then sent Jesus two disciples saying unto them go into the village over the over against you and straightway you shall find an ass tied and a colt with her loose them and bring them unto me and if any man say not unto you you shall say the lord hath need of them and straightway he will send them all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying tell ye the daughters of zion behold the king cometh un unto thee meek and sitting upon an ass and a colt with a foal of an ass and the disciples went and did as jesus commanded them and brought the ass and the colt and put on him their clothes and they and he and they set him there on sorry and a very great multitude spread their garments in the way others cut down branches from the trees and they threw them in the way and the multitude that went therefore sorry and the multitude that went before and that followed cried saying hosanna to the son of david there's a deceit that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When he was come into Jerusalem, all the cities, city was moved, saying, Who is he? Who is this man? Who is he? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. It's the name of God. What's the name of the Lord? Let's just bow our heads. Mighty God, you're great, dearly to be praised. There is none like you. You're holy in holy ways. Lord Jesus, you require holiness in our hands. Jesus, there is none like you, none your equal, none to rub shoulder with you. You stand tall, O God, above all, creator of everything. Lord Jesus, here am I standing before your people, the sacred desk. To break your word, God, I pray that, Lord Jesus, your words will go forth with power and anointing. I pray, dear God, that it will reach to the recesses of individuals. I pray, God, that nothing will be left undone here today lord jesus i recognize my insufficiency lord god but i know that with you all things are possible i pray dear god that some cups will be turned up right now and that they will be filled of lord jesus as a break this word deliver this word to your people lord jesus take full control the acts of mercy is in your name jesus amen amen bless the name of the lord as I've said before, it's not an easy thing to be here, but I'm depending on the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. I just want to break, uh, bring, uh, uh, to speak just on a topic, a different crowd, different motives. Different crowd, different motives. That's the name of the Lord. Here we read in the scripture that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, his triumphant entry into Jerusalem. And of course, as the Bible said here, there was a great multitude of people following him. Jesus, of course, was not afraid of crowd. His entire ministry there have always been crowd following him. So this day was not uh, any different from the other days when there are so many crowd, or, uh, such a large crowd following him.
He did a lot of miracles before these individuals. Bless the name of the Lord. He fed over 5,000 with two, two fishes, five loaves and two fishes. And the Bible said 5,000 men, that was excluding women and children. So he's, he used the crowd. That's the name of the Lord. But today I want to put it to you that in every crowd, there are sub crowds, so to speak. In every crowd, there are groups. There are different groups. In every crowd, there are people with different agendas. There are people with different motive, motives. Hence, the topic here, different crowd, different motives. So in a large crowd, in, a, in every gathering, there are people with different motives. That's the name of the Lord. Now Jesus knew this. He knew about the Pharisees and the Sadducees. He knew that they were there. Their, their motives were different. And there are so many persons that have these motive, different motives. It is believed that in any gathering, in any crowd, there are at least five different groups of people with different motives. And today I just want to speak about the motives, the, the different crowd, the different motives. So in a crowd, or in a gathering, there is one group that is called the curious, curious, curious group. Curious. Or I can say this, this group is spectators. This curious group is a group that is there to, to well, they have seen the miracles of Jesus. They have seen Jesus uh, done a lot of healing, many miracles, but they are there to see what next. What is he going to do today? Curiosity steps in. What is he going to do? They are interested. They are interested in what Jesus is going to do next because, yes, they might have something to talk about or something more to talk about. But they are not interested in following Jesus, in accepting Jesus as he is. So they are there in the crowd and they are saying that, well, maybe just by, by my presence here, I'll get some blessing. But it doesn't work like that. So this group, curious, and is not persuaded by what, what is going on, by what Jesus is doing. All they're thinking about is what is going to happen next. Just curious. What is going to happen? What is going to happen? You know, when we come to the house of the, of, of the Lord, when we come into the sanctuary, you know, we, we have to put curiosity aside. Well, we can be curious, yes, but there's a point at which curiosity has to go. When we come into the house, what are we, why are we going to be curious to say, well, well, let's see what God is going to do today. Let's see what the pastor is going to do today. Let's see what Sister Marsh is going to do today. Bless the name of the Lord. So when we come into the house of the Lord, 
It's not about seeing what someone's going to do today or anything like that. We are here to worship. We are not spectators to look to see and to enjoy. But we are here to worship. Bless the name of the Lord. So I trust that as children of the Most High, that we will really not find ourselves in that position where we are just all curious about what is, what is about to happen. But we are missing the real purpose. We are not persuaded by what God is doing. Now the group that is in the crowd is a confused followers, a confused followers of Christ. So they are in the crowd, they are following Jesus, or they are following, moving with the crowd, but they aren't sure who they are following. They aren't sure who this Jesus is. That's the name of the Lord. So the confused followers, they have a problem too. They don't, they're not sure who they're following. And how can you be following somebody and you're not sure? So they will say, oh, he is, he is, he's a prophet. Or he's a carpenter's son. Because they're not sure. That they didn't know. Are they not sure if he was God with us? If he was Emmanuel? That's the name of the Lord. So they are following their followers of Christ but they are wondering in their mind who who is this man who is he not sure who is he confused so they don't know that Jesus whom they are following is Lord and King he's the Messiah he didn't see that so it's not good for us to find ourselves in that position where we are not sure where we are. We're not, we're not sure who we're following. We need to be persuaded in ourselves and know for surety that look, we are following Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth. He's king of our lives. Blessed be the Lord. In the name of the Lord. So let us not be confused. The other group is a pretender, the imposter, the liars, the pretenders. The pretenders are those who will claim or they will profess to be what they are. So you come to the house of the Lord and be professed to be what we are not. Profess to be holy. You profess to be the right thing. But deep down in your heart you are not the pretenders. God has no place for pretenders. Pretending to be committed to Jesus. But your heart is lukewarm. Far from God. God has no place for Pretend. Dipping in the same dish, dipping in the same this dish with pasta, where you're planning his betrayal. Judas, Judas, dipping in the dish. There was a point when Jesus called him my friend. Keeping in the dish, the planning, the training, pretenders. God has no place for pretenders in the house of the Lord. There's no place for that. Pretenders will never be fully so loud to Jesus. Never be fully uh, committed or so loud to Him. And God wants us to be fully solo, be fully committed. Pretenders. 
pretenders will just go through the motion. We come to church, we go through the motions, mechanical Christians, so to speak. Our heart is far from God. We are concerned about impressing others for our own approval. Some people say for bragging right. What you do in the house of the Lord is not about impressing others. It's about worship to God. So if you play the music, it's not about playing the music and impressing to impress others. It's about worship to God. If we sing, it's not about being the best singer. Or to, or, or it's about worship to God. It's not about impressing anyone. God has no place for actors. He doesn't want any actors. It's not Hollywood. It's not whatever. He doesn't want any. There's no place for actors. There's no place for pretenders. He wants us to be real person. He wants us to be fully committed. Fully sold out to his service. To his work. To his work. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There's no place for that. We can fool the crowd. We can fool many. But we cannot fool God. We cannot fool God. Our lives are being judged momentarily. Every moment. If you die, know it's what is a judgment that is cast at that point that will determine your, 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 where you spend eternity. So don't sit and think that judgment is coming way down the road years from now. We are being judged every day. And if the rapture comes at a point when your judgment is not what it's supposed to be, is not uh, according to God's uh, uh, purpose, And I'm sorry, we won't be in the rapture. The judgment, we are being judged momentarily. If death come, if the rapture come, your judgment is whatever you are doing at the point when this happens. So as I said before, we can we can fool the crowd. We can fool, I you know, the pastor. So at times. But we cannot fool God. So that's a pretenders. No place in the house of God. Another group that is always in the crowd is the opposers. Many places where Jesus went and where there were large crowds, the opposers will be there. The Sadducees and the Pharisees, they will be there seeking an occasion to, to, to arrest Jesus. They will oppose what he's saying and what he's doing. You know, politicians are good at that. I remember one politician some years ago said, oppose, oppose, oppose. Bless the name of Jesus. So the opposers will do that. Oppose the work of God. I'm sad to say there are some brethren and even, <clears throat> even some pastors who will oppose the move of God. So unironical, eh? That will oppose. I remember some years ago, you know, I was at a church and and um, they, the pastor was there and you know, I realized that when the church when the, when, the move, when the move of God, when there's a rich move and presence of God, that if the pastor is called up to do something, the pastor would say, okay, uh, could, uh, be seated, be seated, be seated, be seated. So I said, what, what on earth is he afraid of? The, moves of, the move of God. Why is he opposed?
opposing, I put it that way, opposing the move of God. When God gets ready to move, move with God. Don't oppose God. So there's no place for the opposers in the house. Bless be the name of the Lord. Opposers will never give credence to the good in a situation. They will highlight the bad. And never give credence to the good that you do. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There is no place, no place for opposers. And it all boils down to our motives. And that's why it's a different crowd, different motives. One gathering with different people with different motives. They are the opposers. They are the, uh, the pretenders. Those who are confused. Those who are curious. But God has no place for that. Opposers will promote their own interest in the agenda. So they will tear down and not build up. And I said, there's no place for that. Tearing down in the house of God. We must be our brother's keeper. Our sister's keeper, so to speak. We must look out for the interests of others. As much as we look out for the interests of ourselves. Another group is the committed follower. The committed follower of Christ. You see, many will claim that they are committed. But in most cases, the committed follower of Christ are in minority, are in the minority. Speaking about the body of Christ, not only this assembly, but the body of Christ. The committed persons are really in the minority some, uh, in some cases. Bless the name of the Lord. But when we are committed, when we are a committed follower of Jesus Christ, we'll recognize him as king of our lives. That he's Lord and king of our lives. We will do what he wants us to do and not what we want to do. We will seek to please him. We will listen to him. Remember the, 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 the marriage at uh, Canaan. And when the wine ran out and he said to his disciples, go get, bring, bring me some water. I'm just paraphrasing here. Bring me some water. Probably they were saying, what, what Jesus want water? The time for water and always wine. Time to drink wine. Mary turned to him and said, what? Whatever he said, do it. We listen to Jesus because he knows all things. We follow him. He knows all things. The committed one. We must trust him in all our ways. Submit ourselves to him. Submit our lives to him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. No murmuring. No complaining. Trust God. So if God said, do this, do it. Trust God. Trust God. Follow his instruction. Whatever he instructed us to do, follow it. Follow it to the T. Don't divert. Don't do something else because you think that this is what 
is better. If God say do that, do that. If God say do something, do it. Be a committed follower of Jesus Christ. And I, I'm speaking to myself here. We all must be a committed follower of Christ. More room, more room for pretenders and uh, confused persons. But we must follow him, trust him in all his ways, do his will, do whatever he wants us to do, work in the kingdom, commit your life to God. In working and building the kingdom of God. That's the name of the Lord. And in closing, if you're here and you're one of those curious, curious persons, I trust and I pray that you will not be the pretender that you will not be a spectator rather but that you will find it in you to do something to find it to do something meaningful in the kingdom of God building the kingdom of God bless be the name of the Lord confused if you are confused Trust and pray that you will get answers to your questions. Because when you are confused, it means that you have some questions. Yeah? In the mind. Pray that you will get answers to the questions. And solutions to your problems. You are confused. God doesn't want, that, 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 he doesn't want us to be in that position. He doesn't want us to be confused. He wants us to be committed. If you're a pretender, trust, trust that you will put off the old man and make sure that the new, the new man, the new man that was renewed in you, be elevated, be glorified, and be committed, be fully committed to God. fully committed to God. Because as I said before, God has no place for dependence. If you find yourself in the group of the opposers, see, I don't know, I don't know your motives, but your motives determine the group that you are in. And God knows your motives. That what he judges us uh, on our motives. It's not so much what we do, but our motives, the motives for doing, the motive, to judge our motives. So if you're an opposer, uh, God doesn't want you to be an opposer. Opposing, when you are an opposer, you, you block your blessings. The blessing that God would pour out upon you, opposers, block the blessings that will come, that will fall upon you. That the Lord would bestow upon you. Because you are opposing, you are going against the will and purpose and work of Almighty God. So learn to love. Learn to forgive. To get along with each other. We're building the kingdom of God. We're building it together. Together we stand, divided we fall. On the day of Pentecost, scripture was read this morning. On the day of Pentecost, they were all in one place, in one accord. They were all committed. Followers of Jesus Christ. 
And as a result of that, Jesus was able to do what he began to do. They received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And it was noise abroad. And people from many countries were there. We read it today in the scripture. But the gathering, they were in one accord. They were all committed followers of Jesus Christ. So if we want to see God work in our midst and move like the day of Pentecost, we all must be committed followers of Jesus Christ. No room for anything else. Committed to the cause. Committed to the fight. Committed to serving God. So it is important for us that we walk in the spirit. We live in the spirit. That we trust God. That we be steadfast. Unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For you know. For we know including myself. For you know. That our work, our labor, is not in vain in the Lord. So let us be committed. Let us do the will of the Lord. Examine your, we, including myself, examine, we must examine our motives. And make sure that our motive is towards God. This is a pure motive towards God in worship. As I, as I said before, and I just run it again for emphasis. No place for pretenders. No place for confused individual and curious persons. No place. The Lord is coming back one day. And he's coming back for the committed few. Glory to God. He's coming back for those who are committed. Those who, are, who walk the walk and live the life. He's coming back. There's no reservation for persons who are pretenders. No reservation for the opposers. None whatsoever. He's coming back and he's coming back for one crowd, so to speak. One crowd. The committed. Those who have surrendered their lives, commit their lives to God, live for him, do what he says. He's coming back. Coming back one day. He's coming back one day. So let us do his will. Let us be committed. That's the name of the Lord. Let us examine our motives. And if we uh, found ourselves in a position where we are not supposed to be. If we found ourselves being a uh, pretender or an opposer. Examine yourselves and get yourself back. In the place where you are a committed follower of Jesus Christ. The disciples that were committed to the cause. Jesus called them, they followed him. They were committed. Judas, as I said, he was a friend. God called him a friend. Judas, you know, he was the one who carried the money bag, so to speak. He was the treasurer. I don't know what his motive was all along. I don't know if he was dipping in the bag. But I don't know. I don't know. But there comes a point when, when, when Judas probably say to himself that, look, I probably, I can, you know, I can 
make a money he can make a money of his end there are some people there are some church or it's a so-called church who are all about that making money off people's end so here we see Judas the thing is that the devil will the, the devil will and he can set you up at things because the Bible said then entered Satan he tempted Judas then entered Satan. Judas yielded to the temptation and decided to take a bribe for the head of for, for Christ. Now Judas know and he believed that Jesus, him being God, that he would have done what he ever, whatever he could do to escape from these persons, the Sadducees and scribes and the rulers at the time. He, he probably believed that, look, he's God, so he can get away with this. And I will have, I'll be uh, 30 pieces of silver, um, richer. Get that off his head, I'll be richer. So when Judas, dipping in the plate with Jesus, and Jesus said what he had to say, he got dipped in the plate. We all know the story. So when Judas saw, but in all this, Jesus did nothing and he was uh, arrested. We all know the story. Judas, he went and lives in. Don't allow ourselves to be tempted by the devil. He will set us up. He will set us up. The money had no use to him. The money had no use to Judas. When he saw what happened, no oh, use to me. Jesus does want us to be pretending. So we must love him with all our hearts. Worship him with all that we can. Give to him all that we can. And be fully committed to the cause of Christ. One body one motive. Let us work together to build the kingdom of God. Our labor will not be in vain. It's my few words to you. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's pause a little bit and allow it to soak and sink into our beings. Allow these words to get to the core of our beings. Sound words, words that we need to think deeply about. And he was speaking about the church. But anybody that is not as far away is talking about the church. What can be found in the church at the living day? Among Holy Ghost filled believers. We better have been here, let him hear what the Spirit said to the churches. We praise the name of the Lord. We invite you to stand every day, thank you, brother man. Stand every day, every day. Hallelujah. I come to your prayer. If you're here, you want us to pray with you again on social media, concerning this in the chapel, you pray the prayer of faith. If you're here, and you need healing, you need deliverance, I want us to pray for you, you need the Holy Ghost, whatever your needs are. You are at the right place, at the right time, worshiping the right God. But neither slumbers nor sleep. 
is a pain in hearing and heart, to be unable to set free, to heal, to uplift, and to do whatsoever you want him to do. We praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you are anyone, amen. If you like us to pray with you and for you, Amen. If you're online and you want us to pray for you, you can just send us a message we will pray for you. Amen. The best time to come to the altar is when anybody don't do it. We praise God. We give God the glory. We give God the praise. Amen. Let's give holy hands and magnify the Lord. This place is named, this place is named, this place is named. And God is a good God. He gave us a good word, a sound word. We thank you for it. Amen. Come on, somebody say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are coming to a close. Amen. And we want to. Keep all the announcements in mind, keep it in mind, and I know in this world that was preached, amen, it will be in your hearts, in your spirits, and allow the devil to take it away from you, and praise God, amen, meditate upon it, amen, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to pray with us again. Praise Jesus. We are going to pray for the Jews. We are going to be praying. Let us pray. O Lord, hear God. Before the foundation of the whole, we are God, and we change it now. From generation to generation, we are God, and you change it not. And before you, there was no God for you, and there will be none after you, because you change it not. And so we come before you now with thanksgiving, with praise in our hearts, and to be our God. Acknowledging your sovereign presence, we say thank you for this word today. Thank you for the word that you have spoken into your spirits. I pray that people of God will accept it with joy. We praise God. We pray, great God, that this word will be ingrained in our hearts and our spirits. We thank you for your man servant, your minister. We thank you for everything that was said and done in this space. Every song that was sung, every scripture that was read, every prayer that was sent up to you as sweet smelling savor. We thank you for the positions. We thank you for everything that the offerings and for the sacrifices that were made to be here today. We are thankful to you. As your people are able to depart from this world. We pray you will dismiss them with the choice of blessings. You will dismiss them with thanksgiving in their hearts. You will let them go with the joy of the Lord, which is their strength. That they will keep in the fire alone. They will stand in the power and in the will of the living God. Always abounding in the truth. Hallelujah. Always abounding in the truth of God. Teach the people, anoint them, bless them, open doors, grant opportunities. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray that that which is closed be open, and close that which is to be closed. Grant access right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare it to be so, according to your will and according to your glory. Let the church say, in Jesus' name. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Greet somebody, tell them you love them in Jesus' name. Praise God. Shalom. We greet everyone online. We thank you for joining. The Lord should bless you. Peace be with you. Emmanuel, God is with us. In the name of the Lord, the Lord should bless you. Shalom. Praise God.